V-S-E-P-R Vesper Assalamualaikum Hai awak Bertemu lagi kita dalam siri Pencerah Kimia Awak So, today we are going to discuss about Vesper Vesper used to determine the actual shape of molecule Actual shape means molecular geometry in 3D. So, what is Vesper? Based on Vesper theory, the valence electron pair surrounding a central atom repel one another. Thus, the bonding pair and lone pair electron arrange themselves to be far apart as possible to minimize this repulsion. There are three types of repulsion. The first one between bonding pair, the second one between lone pair, and the third one between bonding pair and lone pair. These three repulsion have different strength. Okay, bonding pair and bonding pair repulsion are weaker than bonding pair and lone pair repulsion and lone pair lone pair repulsion are the strongest repulsion what is this all about looks at the shape of ch4 and h3 h2o why the shape and bond angle of ch4 and h3 and h2o looks like this this is because the type of repulsion that exists in the molecule is different. Therefore, they have different molecular geometry and bond angle. To determine the molecular geometry, which is actual shape in 3D, you must know to draw Lewis structure and then you must calculate the number of electron pair around the central atom and use valence shell electron pair repulsion or VESPER to determine the molecular geometry. There are two categories of molecule. The first one, central atom without lone pair. The second one, central atom with lone pair. In this video, I will discuss only the first category, molecule with central atom without lone pair. Okay, let's look uh, for the Lewis structure for the molecule of methane, ammonia and water. Okay, this is the Lewis structure for methane, CH4, carbon as a central atom and hydrogen as a terminal atom and then for ammonia and H3 this is the Lewis structure and for H2O this is the Lewis structure next we determine the number of bonded atom to central atom for methane CH4 we can see here one two three four atom bonded to central atom which is carbon okay for ammonia and H3 number of atom bonded to the central atom is three one two three hydrogen here and for water number of bonded atom to central atom is two one and two okay next what you must know is number of lone pair on the central atom for methane did you see any lone pair here no right so zero for ammonia there is one lone pair here and for H2O, there is two lone pair, one and two. Okay, next is the class of the molecule. Okay, as you can see here, we have one central atom and four terminal atom. So the class is A, B, four. A stands for central atom, B for terminal atom. Okay, next for ammonia, we have one central atom, three terminal atom and one lone pair. So the class is AB3E. 
E stands for lone pair electron. Okay, and the last one for water, there is one central atom, two terminal atom, and two lone pair. So, A, B, 2, E, 2. Next, electron pair arrangement for the molecule of methane, CH4, is tetrahedral because the AB4, same goes to NH3, tetrahedral, and H2O also tetrahedral. So, what is the difference? The difference is the molecular geometry. Okay. As you can see, the electron pair arrangement for these three molecules is the same, which is tetrahedral. So, the difference is the molecular geometry or the shape. Because for CH4, the class is AB4, the molecular geometry is still tetrahedral. But for NH3, the class is AB3E. The presence of lone pair here affects the geometry of the molecule. So for NH3, the molecular geometry is trigonal pyramidal. Okay, for water molecule, the class is AB2E2. So, the molecular geometry is bent. Yeah? Because we have two lone pair here. Okay. And the bond angle for methane is 109.5 because it is tetrahedral. And bond angle for NH3 is 107 degree because there is a lone pair present here. And... The bond angle for H2O is 104.5 because there is two lone pair here. Okay. Why the presence of lone pair affect the bond angle? Okay, we already learned about the type of repulsion. There is bonding pair and bonding pair repulsion. Bonding pair and lone pair repulsion. And the last one, lone pair, lone pair repulsion. And we know that the lone pair and lone pair repulsion is the strongest repulsion. So for this molecule, these three molecules, methane, ammonia and water, as you can see here, the bond angle for methane is 109.5, ammonia 107 and water 104.5. So this is because in methane, there is only bonding pair and bonding pair repulsion exists but in NH3 there is a lone pair here so the repulsion that exists is the first one is repulsion between lone pair and bonding pair and another repulsion is between bonding pair and bonding pair so, in ammonia, repulsion between lone pair, bonding pair, is stronger than bonding pair and bonding pair. So, the bond angle is less than 109.5. Okay, in water molecule, there is three types of repulsion. The first one, repulsion between lone pair and lone pair. So, the stronger the repulsion, the smaller the bond angle. Okay, so we know that there is five basic shape, which is linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal, and octahedral. Now we are going to learn how to draw these five basic shape. The first one is linear. For example, molecule with the linear shape is BeCl2. This is how the molecular geometry looks like. And now we are going to draw using BeCl2. Be as a central atom, bonded to Cl as a terminal atom. Cl and Cl. So the shape is linear. So the bond angle in linear shape is 180 degree. Okay, the next shape is trigonal planar for example we have molecule bf3 how to draw the shape of bf3 this is the molecular geometry so we draw the real one b as a central atom 
there is three F as a terminal atom. One, two, and three. F, F, and F. So this is the shape of trigonal planar. The bond angle is one, two, zero degree. Okay, the third one for basic shape is tetrahedral. For example, we have CH4 molecule. This is how the molecular geometry looks like. But how to draw it? C as a central atom and hydrogen as a terminal atom. We have four hydrogen here. So one, two, three, and four hydrogen. So the bond angle is 109.5 degree. This is how we draw the tetrahedral shape. The fourth basic shape is trigonal bipyramidal. For example, we have molecule PCL5. How to draw the shape? Okay, this is the molecular geometry for trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, let's draw P as a central atom, CL as a terminal atom. So, one, two, three, four, and five. CL. So the bone angle here, 90 degree, and the bone angle here is 120 degree. 90 degree is between the green and the white molecule, and the 120 degree is between white and white, white and white molecule. Okay, the last basic shape that we have is octahedral. The example of molecule with the shape of octahedral is SF6. This is how the molecular geometry looks like. We have six terminal atoms. Okay, so how to draw it? Okay, let's draw S as a central atom, F as a terminal atom. We have six F. So one, two, three, four, five and six so the bond angle is 90 degree this is how we draw the shape of octahedral so in this video we have covered vesper theory and draw five basic shape linear trigonal planar tetrahedral trigonal, bipyramidal, and octahedral. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Have a nice day.